More than 300 military members gathered for the second annual Joint Women's Leadership Symposium in Guam, March 24th. Mentoring and networking with some of Guam's senior officers offered both men and women a chance to ask questions and learn more about what works best for leading others. It's good to see their perspective and listen from somebody who's been there and done that and having them talk about their experiences and how they overcame different challenges uh, gives you the tools that anybody can need either in the military, outside of the military to succeed and to be a good leader. The past 12 months have seen extraordinary progress for women in the military who are now eligible to serve in combat jobs across the board. More and more women are serving in leadership roles within the DOD and here in Guam, Joint Region Marianas is led by Rear Admiral Bette Bolivar. And here at the Naval Hospital on Guam, it's led by Captain Jeannie Comlish, who was a panel moderator for this year's event. The day-long event featured panel discussions about balancing life for dual military couples, how leaders can set expectations for mission success, and what tools are needed for overcoming biases in the workplace. As I was raised by three very independent, strong women. Uh, my wife is a very independent, strong woman, so like, it's, I'm used to that, and it's something that I don't think anything about to see somebody who's a woman in charge. So it's just, oh, that person is in charge, okay. Event organizers say the feedback was nothing but positive, helping share strategies and shaping the next generation of leaders. Reporting for Defense Media Activity in Guam, I'm Amy Forsythe.